So Supervent, talk about Supervent. The, where Supervent really came from, um, we weren't even doing road helmets or even high-end cross-country helmets. We were mostly doing you know, motor, motocross, that's what we started in, and then went into downhill helmets. And um, somebody asked me, we talk so much about soft foam next to your head and all the helmets that we do, and uh, a roadie asked me, hey, how come you don't put soft foam in a road helmet? Um, you know, we hit the ground hard too. And my answer was, well, the, really, what, what you want on the road is big vents, feel the airflow, feel your, air, your hair you know, move through that. And when you have really large vents, that means you have a very small place to put foam. And to stop the amount of energy, um, you have to cram a lot of foam into a small area. Um, yes, that still transfers a lot of energy to your head. Uh, it stops the big hits, but the smaller hits hurt because that foam's hard. So we kind of took that challenge and said, how can we accomplish a large vent at the same time lowering the density of the foam? And what we came up with is what we call super vents. Super vents is just a hard reinforcement around the vent. And the idea is if you impact an area, that load gets spread over a larger area so that that foam density can be lower than it would have to be if you didn't have that reinforcement. And you know we've put it in several of our helmets. Uh, Maraca and Phenom uh, were the first ones, both road helmets. And again, you can see quite a large size vents, but they are reinforced. So if you hit the ground, spreads over a greater area, we're allowed to, we can, allows us to use the softer foam.